Jeff here, your friend Jedi, and today we're going to talk a little bit about changing the electrical cord in the RV, so stay tuned. Well, I know I haven't posted an RV video in a very long time. Um, as many of you know, my RV, uh, my fifth wheel went into some water. I got pictures right here. And after that happened, I got this uh, motor home because I hated towing. Yay. And the engine blew six hours in on my way up to get it registered. So it's been a year and a half of kind of craziness around that. But I have it up here. It's my, I'm at my brother's house right now. He's been fixing the engine. Literally, it's been raining like cats and dogs for two weeks. Every time we go to do something, it rains. So today, um, I am doing the electrical cord because I bought a brand new cord to go inside the house. The problem is, is that the cord that is on the RV, uh, the power supply is just not good. I bought a brand new one. Hopefully that's going to fix some of my power issues, which would be lovely. Having air conditioning would be kind of nice at this point. Although that fan, woo, it does some goodness. It does some goodness. So as you can see, inside my, my box is my electrical thing. And my electrical, and I've already taken off two. I thought about it and I'm like, oh. So really, I'm just untangling everything and unscrewing it. This is a little nuts. Funny, if you guys remember, those little blue nuts are the reasons why I left a day late because I didn't have one blue nut. It was crazy of uh, setting up my solar. So I had to wait a whole day for the hardware store to open. Craziness, craziness, craziness. But so I'm just gonna take this off real quick and we'll go from there. There's, it's always so hard to get those um, electrical tape off. And my nephew bought me, <laughs> he bought me a pocket knife that I never have on me when I actually need it. It's kind of a joke to me at this point that whenever I need the pocket knife, it's never near where I need it. So one thing I want to make sure that you guys know, the electrical is not hooked up to the system. That would be very, very dangerous. You go... Zzz, zzz. So please, please, please make sure no electrical is set up. Yes, I know you can hear the fan that's coming in through the extension cord. That's not happening from there, okay? Off, and now I'm just gonna separate the wires. Again, like I said, that is not powered on. Okay, now I just gotta pull the old cord out and feed the other one through. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't do it pretty. <laughs> but it is out. I couldn't get that little piece out. And so that's what happened. That's all out. I'm getting ready to pull that cord out, that big black cord, put the new one in, and we'll wire it up. My friends, this is my electrical cabinet. And there were all kinds of bugs in there when I just opened it up. So I went and grabbed some bug spray and sprayed them boop, out of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up right through that hole. Hopefully you can see that with our cord. I got this from Amazon. It's just a basic cord. One of the things I do want to say is that you want to make sure that it's a cord for to replace it. that has your wire ends, not one that will be for your an extension cord because I saw a ton of extension cords this time. Just to let you know. And you also want to think, because my cord, the end of it was a 110 line. And so I have to get a new adapter for a 110. Because the new one is a 30 amp. So just a couple things to think of when you're getting... So my friends, I wired that through. As you can see, it came up. That's the new one. The new ends. Yay, and all we gotta do now is wire on those to those. By the way, I did find my pocket knife. Guess where it was? Ha <laughs> ha, in my pocket. 
me and my brother were joking about it the other day and I put it in there and it came in handy because you all know that I don't have a stripper. The last stripper I had was way back in the 90s and he was more trouble than he was worth. So, um, yeah, no, um, I got that all up. All we got to do now is nut up, guys, with our blue nuts and we should be all set. All right, my friends. Well, those blue nuts were looser than the bottom on Sunday morning. So we are going to go get some yellow ones in the morning. But we are plugged in. Yay! It is working. And I might get some air conditioning tonight. I will make sure that those are all fixed up. I'm not going to put anything on it and make sure, you know, it should be okay for overnight. They're not touching anything. And the ground is the one that's exposed, so we're okay. All right, guys. I'm so excited. I'll show you the finished product tomorrow. When you know I did not get an image of the finished product, put it all back together, put it all, all the stuff back in there. And I love you guys, but I'm not going back in to show you guys that I put a couple nuts on. Um, the nuts were actually the bigger red nuts, not the yellow ones. So just so you know, um, I would get, if I were doing this project and needed to find things from scratch, I would go and get a multi-pack to make sure of which ones I may or may not need. You guys are so loved. I will see you guys soon. Stay tuned. I'm going to be installing a toilet soon. I know. That's going to be crazy. The working crew is leaving on a space detail. This state of zero gravity.